Hi year three, it's Thursday. We're gonna move on to our math sheet to go through the answers and see if you did make any mistakes or you may have made them. So let's get straight on in into our video. <laughs> okay, so this is Thursday sheet. And first of all, we're gonna start off by circling one pound for all of these ones. And then we'll go on to at circling £10 for D. So, circle £1. We should know that 250Ps make £1. So, circle any 250Ps there. Circle £1. How do we make £1 of 20Ps? Or 20, 40, 60, 80, £1. Or 100 pennies. Circle a pound. Now, with our 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 P, which would be one pound. So that would actually be all of them because there are 10, pe 10, 10 pence pieces. There are 10 pences in a pound. <laughs> and finally, circle 10 pounds. Now, there are, te there are 10 one pound coins in a pound. Um, so these are two pound coins, so two pounds plus two pounds is four pounds, plus two pounds is six pounds, plus two pounds is eight pounds, plus two pounds is ten pounds. So there should be five two pound coins in ten pounds. So those are all the first ones there for number one. Number two says, how many 1p coins do you need to make one pound? Well, we said that before, didn't we? And I know the video mentioned it. So you need 100 p 100 pennies to make one pound so write the price of each item in pence so we've got this row by boy we've got one pound and 24 pence now this one remember it's the same one pound is the same as 100 pence so we've got one pound there so we've got 124 100 pence and 24 pence so that'd be 124 We've got a two pound here. Now that would make that 200 pence. So we've got 200 and then a 24, which would be 224. And this one here, instead of saying we've got a one pound, we've got six pounds, which would be 600 pence. So we've got 600 pence and 45 pence, which would be 645 pence. Okay, let's move on to four. Write each amount in pounds and pence. So let's start with A. We've got 274 pence. We need to write this pounds and pence. This is the opposite of doing what we did in number three, but the other way around. So here we've got 200 pence. Now we know that 100 pence is one pound, so 200 pence would be two pounds. And how many pence are left over? 74. 374 pence would be three pound and 74 pence. 474 pence would be four pounds and 74 pence and I hope you can see a pattern there because the pence all stay the same but because the pound is increasing we've got a hundred more pence each time that means our pound is increasing let's move on to this one 592 pence well we know that 500 if there are 100 pence in a pound so if there are 500 pence that would make five pounds and how many pence left over 92 Again here, we've got our 500 pence, which would be five pound, and then we've got 91 left over. And here we've got five pa uh, 500 pence, which would be five pounds, and then we've got 90 pence. And you can see here that our 500 is staying the same, so that's still five pounds, but our pence are changing here. Let's move on to our next page. So for C, we have got 111 pence. Now, as I said before, we've got one pound equals 100 pence. So 111, 100 would be one pound, and then we've got 11 pence. 405 pence, well, we've got 400 pence, which would be there, and then 05, but we couldn't put 05p in, would we? We'd just put five. So we've got four pounds and five pence. Annie has some coins. She's got a two pounds, a 50p, a 20p, a 20p, a 5p, a 5p, a 5p and a 2p. How much money does Annie have? Now, as it said in the video as well, we're going to start with our pounds first. So we've got a two pound here. 
what else do we have i can look and i can see that we've got a 50p and actually we might end up making more than another pound here so we've got our two pound there but i'm not going to write that there because we will probably have more so if i've got a 50p what else could i use to add to make a pound well i can get a 20p and another 20p that'll be 90p is there anything that can get me that extra 10p oh i've got two 5ps here haven't i one 5p and two 5 piece. so all of these make a pound now is this going to make another pound no so i definitely know i've got a three pound there and then i've got a 5p and a 2p left over so that would be 7p b says what is 10p more so if i added a 10p in here what would that be that wouldn't be 7p we still have our three pounds that's not changed we haven't got enough here to go into another pound so what would happen there hmm well if i did it that'd be seven and then another 10p which would be 17p so it'd be three pounds 17p what would be 10p left so if i get rid of this 10p now because that's not the number we have if i had 10p left well i could take away a 10p here by taking away two five p's oh but look that was part of one of my pounds so now that doesn't make a pound anymore and these ones left over wouldn't help make up that that other 5p i'm a couple of pennies off and that extra pound so what do i have now well i've only got that two pound there haven't i what else do i have i've got a 50p i've got 20p and 20p well that would be 90p and i've got a 5p so that'd be 95p and then i've got a 2p so that'd be 97p what is 100 pennies more well that's the same as saying what's one pound more so if i look at the original amount here of instead of three pounds seven p instead of saying three pounds seven p it would be four pounds seven p because i'm just adding another pound on and then what would it be if it was 100 p less well again that's the same if i took away a pound if i had this two pound and i took away one and just had the one pound left what would i have well i take away a pound so that'd be two pound and seven p now let's have a little look at six so what amount is represented in each box? So I'm having a look here now. As I always say, I always start with my pounds first. So I've got two pounds, a one pound and a two pound there. So that would be five pound. Can I have my two, one, um, two, two pences and a one pence? No, that won't make another pound. So I've got my five pounds and then I've got a two, a two and a one pence. So that would again make five p so i've got five pounds and five pence again i don't need that zero there let's have a look at this one i've got one two three four pounds and i've got a five p does that make another pound no so i've got four pounds and then there i've got my five pence and this one here i've got a five pound note and i've got a 50 pence coin can I add anything to this 50 pence? No, there's nothing there to make it another pound. So it'd be five pounds and 50 pence. Moving on to number seven. Now this one, you've got to use your eyes very, very carefully. Um, and if you have got this sheet printed out like me, you might need to use a screen in front of you. I've got one in front of me to help me just to know what those coins are, um, just in case you do get stuck, because they are a little bit blurry. Now the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to add up all of my um money in pound coins first uh, well in two pound coins then one pound coins and so on and so on because then i can add them all together and i'm going to make sure that i'm starting with the same coin throughout so i'm not going to go from a two pound to a two p to a one p to a five p i'm going to start with my two pounds find them all then go with my one pounds find them all work out the total of each and add them all together so I have got two pound, two pound, two pound, two pound, two pound, two pound. So that's one, two, three, four, five. I've got five two pound coins. One, two, three, four, five. So I know that five two pound coins is ten pounds. Now I'm going to look for my one pound coins. One, two, three. Beep, 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 beep. I think that's just three. So I've got a three pound coin. And then I'm going to go to my 50p's. So one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
just two. Now I know that two one pound coin at uh, two fifty p's make a one pound. And now let's move on to my twenty p's. One, two, three. I think I've only got three. So that I'd go into my pence here. It's my pounds. It's my pence. Um, so I've got three twenty p's, which would be sixty p. Then I've got 10 peas, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that'd be eight 10 peas, which would be 80p. Oh, I can already see we've been moving into our next pound for these ones. And I look at my five peas, so five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 20p. Looking at my twos, two, four, is that it? Just the two of them to make four P. And then one, two, three, one piece. And now I can add all of these up. Now I'm looking here and I've got my pounds on this side and my pennies on this side. And I can see that I've got an 80 P and a 20 P. Now I know that eight and two is a number bond to 10. So 80 and 20 are number bonds to 100. So I could actually use both of these and exchange them into another pound. So now I've got my money there. So I've got my 10, 3, 1 and 1, which would be 15 pounds. And then I've got my 60p, my 4 and my 3, which would be 60p. And then 4 and 3 is 7, so 67p. So that'd be 15 pounds and 67 pence. How did you count the coins? Compare your answers with a partner. So you might have done that a different way to me and got the same answer. Have a think, which method might be more effective? Would it be my method that I used or would it be your method that you used? What is the fewest number of coins you can use to represent 315 pence? Now, doing a question like this, you always want to start with the largest number first so the largest coin that you can use first so what is the biggest coin you can use can i use a five pound note no because that's too big so i'm gonna have to use something smaller can i use a two pound coin yes i can so i can use a two pound coin but i haven't quite got to my three yet could i have another two pound coin no because that would be four pounds i don't have four pounds i have three pounds so in that case i'll have to add a one pound coin so if i had that one point coin i've now got my three pounds there perfect now i need to do this 10p here so how am i going to do that well i could add my 10p couldn't i i couldn't add my 20p because 20 p is too big it wouldn't be 15p it's too too small so i'll have to use my 10p so i've done my 10p i've got my five pence left how could I make my five pence? Well, I could make use it with a, a 2p, a 2p and a 1p, but it says the fewest number of coins. So what could I use to make 5p? Well, I could just use a five pence coin. So how many coins did I use to make the number 315 pence? One, two, three, four. I used four coins. So those are the coins that I would have used. So B, use six coins to make an amount that is more than three pounds, but less than four pounds. Draw your answer. Now, I think we learned from our last video that drawing isn't my best point. So I'm going to use circles for my answers instead of um, the shape, real shapes of 50p's and 20p coins. So use six coins to make an amount that is more than three pounds, but less than four pounds. Now, I'm going to start off with three pounds. How could I make three pounds? Well, looking here, I could make it using a two pound coin and a one pound coin. So let's do it with a two pound coin and a one pound coin. So that's two coins. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. I used to use to make six coins and I've used two already just so I keep track. What else can I do? I have to make sure that it's more than three, but less than four. So I've got more than, I've got three already, so I can't do less, but I can't go over four. So what can I add now? I could add a 10p. I could add 5p. So now I'm at £3.15p. So that's another two. I could add a 20p. 
so that's now three pound thirty five. I could add another five p. So that is now three pound thirty plus ten would be three pound forty. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six coins. So using six coins, I've made an amount that is more than three, but less than four. So this is my answer here. What did you do with your answer? Make sure that you have used six coins and that your answer is more than three pounds, but less than four pounds. I hope that all makes sense. If you do have any further questions, please feel free to drop us an email. And I look forward to creating my video for you tomorrow.